Okay, so what I'm doing today is a, a chicken, broccoli, and cheese recipe, and it's inspired by when I used to be a cook and I had a day job. This is one of the things that we used to make, but this is a far healthier version of a chicken, broccoli, and cheese casserole you might find in a restaurant. So one of the major things that you need to start with is chicken, which I have prepared in the same sort of way that I prepared um, the chicken that we used in the lasagna, except instead of using basil and Italian seasoning, for this one I just used garlic butter and poached it um, for about an hour. And then I need rice, which I have chosen to use um, brown rice and wild rice. <coughs> I have uh, cut all my onions and now they are sauteing while I take the time to cut up my mushrooms. And essentially what I'm going to be doing here is um, following a recipe that I gave last month for cream of veggie soup, only with mushrooms. And once your mushrooms are cut, you can put them right into the pan that you were sauteing your onions in and let them cook for about five minutes or until they are the way that you would like them. So here I've got my mushrooms looking just about how I wanted them to look. And I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to it. And as you can see, I don't really measure, so it's all precise. But, you know. After you've cooked your uh, flour and your mushrooms a little bit and your onions, you put in a little bit of milk in here as you, uh, as you cook it down. You continue to add milk to it and stir it. Don't walk away, just keep stirring it as it boils and incorporating it. And that way you're not going to get lumps of flour. You're just getting a nice homemade cream of mushroom soup. So uh, as you add more milk, you will be able to eventually not worry about it so much, uh, boiling like crazy. But you do want to stay nearby because milk boils up fast. So, I mean, you don't have to stand here and stir it, but do keep an eye on it and be aware. So now that my cream of mushroom soup resembles cream of mushroom soup, I'm going to put it aside and let it cool down. So now I'm adding curry powder to it, and it's smelling really good and it's going to taste really good too. So you just put a little bit of curry powder in there and then um, you know mix it right in. So in my cream of mushroom soup what I've done is I've added about a quarter cup of mayonnaise and uh, curry powder. If you don't like mayonnaise you can make your own mayonnaise or you can just leave it out. That's up to you. The sauce will thicken on its own in the um, in the oven as it is. So that's, uh, that's what I put into mine. While we're waiting for our cream of mushroom soup to chill, I have started making, just blanching really, some broccoli. And uh, I don't want to cook it very much. I want to keep it nice and al dente and like crisp. But I do want that beautiful green color to get more vibrant and come out a little bit more. So I'm just going to blanch it before I put it into my casserole. So here's our broccoli and it is done, but scratch that whole thing that I said about al dente because I had to run outside and it got a little more cooked than I intended it to, but these are the happenings when you hang out in the kitchen. So uh, oh well, it's just going to be a little softer than I would have liked it. So the first layer that I have there is rice and the second layer is going to be broccoli. The third layer is going to be chicken. Now I've pressed my chicken and my broccoli and everything into the casserole dish and I'm going to grate the cheese and top it with cheese and then I'm going to top it with um, buttered breadcrumbs. And after that it's going to go into the oven it's going to be amazing. So there it is, it's got all of the, uh, the cream of mushroom soup curry mixture in there. And now we're ready to put our cheese on. Let's just say, for instance, that uh, you were planning on making this ahead of time because you're busy or whatever. This would be the point that you'd want to wrap it in saran wrap and place it in the fridge. And it can actually keep for like three or four days. There you go. It's a finished product. The way it's supposed to look. <laughs> 